Hi, my name is Alicia. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm kind of just doing a little get ready with me. I am going to Billie Eilish's concert tonight. I am really excited. I have been sick, like really, really sick for the past week. And I'm finally feeling better and I'm so glad because I was terrified that I was going to have to miss out because of how sick I was. Um, but I am excited to be coming tonight. So I'm just going to do my makeup and we're going to chat. I have headphones in because I want to listen to some music probably. Actually, I don't know. If I'm talking, I probably don't need to. But any music I listen to is going to get copyrighted. And I don't want to deal with that, so... I had headphones in, but I'm not going to listen to music, it's fine. If you see me looking down here, I'm literally using this tiny, teeny little mirror to put my makeup on because I wanted good lighting, but anyways. I still have a stuffy nose. Let me just blow it real quick. Well, that was gross. I don't know if you can see, but like my entire hairline at the moment is like covered in acne, but it's not really acne and I don't know what it is. Hopefully I can get an appointment with my dermatologist to sort that out because it's not a fun experience at all. And it's not even just my hair and it's literally my entire scalp is just full of acne. I know I mentioned it in like a couple of videos ago, but it's just getting worse and it's really sore, really painful and it's actually making me a little bit insecure. But it's fine. It's fine. We cope. We survive. Okay, so... I feel like I should moisturize my skin again because I washed my face like three hours ago and moisturized it, but it's not yet. I'm gonna go moisturize my face. So I'm using the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Practice Plus HA. It's literally the only moisturizer I own. But you might be like, why aren't you using a primer to prime for your makeup? Because I don't own one. That's literally the reason. I don't own a primer. And I don't know, my makeup teacher, because I do a makeup course, she told me that primers are like a scam and that they don't actually do anything. Don't know if that's true or not. So she said like the best thing to use is literally just moisturizer. So that's what I use for like a primer. Um, but yeah, I don't do like makeup like everyone else. Ew, that sounds like such a pick me thing to say. But I hate foundation, like with a burning passion. I refuse to wear it, even though I should probably wear it like it's a, it's a foundation but um when I was starting high school so like year seven which is in Australia the start of high school I had horrible acne I'm using this concealer it's the covergirl true blend of undercover concealer Pfft, get that out and I apply it using a brush I don't put this thing on my face anymore because I felt like too much product was going on my face and it just it wasn't doing it for me and I found that doing this I like I like the finish better so I just like dab it on in the areas I need it anyway so I just like dab it on in the areas I need it and like there's not a lot on my face I don't use a lot of concealer and then I just like tap it out with my finger to blend it in I've gone through like a lot of phases on how to apply concealer like how I apply it and I found that so far this is my favorite way to date because I feel like it looks really, really natural without being cakey. And I think that's the reason why I struggle so much with like foundation, like wearing foundation. I feel like it always looks really, really cakey on my skin. In saying that, I am a dancer and I used to wear foundation for that. And even then, I now, I, I don't even wear foundation for that now. I use concealer, but I just use it a bit more heavily. Anyway, going back to the year seven talk of my acne. I had awful acne in year seven, year eight, year nine. Even year 10, my acne has only really cleared up in the past year, and that was because I went on Accutane, which is a super strong acne medication, um, kind of like a last resort for people with acne. And I tried so many things before Accutane. I tried like a tropical cream, like a really strong steroid cream, didn't work. I tried this antibiotic pill that was meant to like attack anything, and it didn't work either. Um, I tried both of them together, didn't work. Um, so then ultimately it was just getting worse and worse and it was getting more severe. I had really bad body acne as well, so on my back and on my chest and it got to the point where I couldn't even sleep or lie down. That's how painful it was. So my doctors and I decided just to put me straight on Accutane and that worked really well for me, except now I'm off Accutane and I've been off Accutane for about 
a month and a half, two months, and my scalp is becoming a massive issue and I don't know why, but I feel like it's got to be something to do with that because that's the only variant that's kind of changed in my life. Anyways, I keep, I feel like I keep straying away from like my original story and going on to different things. Um, but in year seven and eight, because of how bad my acne was and how insecure it made me, I used to cake myself with foundation. And I mean cake, I would wear like 30 layers. That's not even an exaggeration. I would wear so much makeup just to try cover my acne and it made it look so much worse. Like looking back at photos, I'm like, you look so much worse with the makeup than you did without. Because I didn't know really how to apply makeup. I never really learnt. I kind of only knew how to do makeup from dance, which is a very different style of makeup. It's stage makeup, it's not everyday makeup. And I would literally only wear foundation and mascara. So you can imagine how bad that looked. It was just like a plain canvas with some black lashes and that was it. No blush, no contour, no eyeshadow, no lipstick, nothing. It was so bad. I feel like acne is like such a touchy subject, especially for me. Um, because it did make me really, really insecure for such a long time. And I feel like I wasted so much of my life being obsessed with trying to fix my acne instead of just embracing it and accepting it. Because having a bump on your face or having a red mark on your face really doesn't matter. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Even though my entire face was covered with these things. I look back at it and I'm like, why didn't you just accept yourself? Like, I feel like I was so beautiful without the makeup and I feel like caking on all that makeup made it worse. I feel like I just, I'm finding it very hard to articulate exactly how I felt. I just wish I accepted my acne when I was younger and I loved myself regardless of a red bump on my face. I felt like caking on all that makeup both made me feel a little bit more confident but in the long term it really affected how I view myself as a person if that makes sense. Plus, it just made me look really bad. Like, I just didn't know how to do makeup. It was rough. Anyways, moving on. I left my powder in the bathroom and my brother is having a shower. So I can't go get it. So I'm going to... What am I going to do next? I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm using the Essence 24 Ever Ink Liner. An in intense black. So everyone always asks me how I do my eyeliner. And I can't tell you because I do it different literally every single day without fail. Um... But I kind of just draw a line and then draw it back down and draw a line and draw it back down And then with like cotton buds just go in and fix it up and make it sharp and all the rest of it So I just draw a line Like that it's just like It looks straight, but it's I also forgot my thing I'm to go My eyelash curl let me redo that line a little bit. Because I feel like it wasn't it. Yeah, that's better. I follow like my bottom lash line up and then it looks kind of straight because I have weirdly shaped eyes. And then I just draw a line down to connect it back to my eye. I don't know how else to explain it. And I don't know how I'm supposed to film a tutorial when I do my makeup like this. I'm sorry. So then I just draw along my entire lash line to kind of blend it all into one so it looks like it's a part of my eye. And that's my eyeliner. I- when did I start wearing eyeliner? I started wearing eyeliner like 2020 when- you know the like TikTok like indie phase like the bright colours all that I started wearing eyeliner and I started off with like the dip pots don't recommend and I would like put sticky tape on my face and then just kind of do it and then remove the sticky tape so it's super sharp it, it worked for a little bit but um then I learned how to just do it freehand and yeah I don't like that eyeliner actually I think I like it like that better. Yeah. I was gonna do like another like graphic line at the top of my eye to try and make it cool. I, I'm gonna try. Mm, I like it, I think. My hand is so shaky. I don't know if you can see it, but my mirror is literally sh like vibrating because my hands are so shaky. Okay, I think that's cool. Now the question is, can I replicate it on my other eye? Oh, I think I did it! Oh, it looks so good, I'm so happy. So, it's not perfect, but 
and saying that it's good enough for me. What was I gonna say? So as I was saying earlier, I'm going to Billie Eilish's concert tonight. Very exciting. Um, but I go to quite a few concerts actually. I have what's my concert lineup for this year? So I have Billie Eilish tonight. In November, I'm going to Conan Gray, and then December, I've got like three concerts. So I've got Chase Atlantic, Five Seconds of Summer, and then Alec Benjamin. That is my concert lineup for the year. I have been to quite a few concerts in the past. Well, not quite a few. I've been to a few concerts in the past. I've been to Rule. I've been to Shawn Mendes. I've been to Why Don't We. I've been to Katy Perry. Katy Perry was my first ever concert, and it was so good. I think... Actually, no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say because I know there are photos and people are going to find them and I don't want people finding them. But for Katy Perry's concert, I was like eight or nine and I was like the biggest Katy Perry fan. I went to this concert and to date, I will never forget it. What other concerts? Oh, I went to Adele. I went to... Who else? I've been to Ed Sheeran. I've been to Adele. I love concerts. Concerts are so much fun. Um, What do I need to do? Oh, my brother's out of the shower. I can go get my powder. So, as I was saying, I'm going to Billie Eilish tonight, which I am very, very excited for. I don't have GA or anything. I've just got um, seated tickets, which is pretty cool. Let me just pop this on real quick. I'm using, what am I using? It's Cryolans Translucent Powder. It's like a professional one that I got with my makeup kit for the makeup course I'm doing. Anyways, this is kind of like the starting concert for my little 2022 concert lineup. You can't see it on camera, but it's the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. And then November, I am going to Conan Gray. And then December is like my biggest month for concerts. I am going to Chase Atlantic, Five Seconds of Summer, and Alec Benjamin. And for all of the concerts after tonight, I have GA. So I have had GA once before, and that was for Why Don't We, and I had VIP tickets, so I got Barricade. Um, but I am looking forward to lining up for hours for those other concerts. <laughs> Don't know how I'm going to go, because I've never had to really queue for GA, because, of course, I got in and I got barricade straight away so that's gonna be a new experience I love concerts it's so fun like the whole atmosphere of being at a concert is just incredible I can't describe it so, so looking forward to tonight being back at concerts after COVID huh. I had Conan Gray tickets for Kid Crow and because of COVID it got cancelled and I have never been more heartbroken so I'm so beyond grateful that I got Super 8 tickets okay do I wear fake eyelashes with this eye look I feel like fake lashes are going to be too much. I think if I just curl and put mascara on, it should be enough. But got my eyelash curler. I feel like I should mention it's only 1.39. So, the, the, I don't have to leave the house until 5.30. And my friend Caitlin, who I'm going to the concert with, is coming here at 3.30. So, she's not coming for another two hours and I'm getting ready now. This is a little bit ridiculous, but... Anyways, what else can we talk about? Let me, okay, so I keep asking for people to ask me questions on my TikTok, but I keep hiding them like under the caption because I don't want to like put it in people's faces. I just want, I don't know. I don't know why I do that, but I wanted to do a little Q&A type of video. You know how, you know that trend where it's like, um, telling people facts about me while I do my makeup, stuff like that. I wanted to do that, but I don't know what to talk about. Like, I'm not that interesting of a person. So like, I don't really know what I would talk about. So I asked like down hidden in my comments what people might like to know about me. So I'm just gonna go through and see if there's anything there that I can talk about. Whenever I cut my eyelashes, my vision goes like super blurry for the next five minutes, so. Okay, let's see. A lot of people are so curious on what I do for work because I do have a part-time job. I'm a full-time student and I have a part-time job. Um, I actually have three jobs, which is a little out there. So my part-time job, I work in retail. I work in a bookstore. Um, so I'm a bookseller, which is really cool. I love my job. It's so fun. The people I work with are amazing. I genuinely enjoy getting up every weekend and going to work. So that's what my job is. I work in a bookstore 
as like a retail salesperson, I guess. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess in the Sculpting Volumizing Mascara. It's, it's the purple one. Because there's different colors. I have the green ones as well, but I like the purple one the best. What other? Okay, someone's asked a few questions. How old am I? I am 16. What am I studying? At school, I study art full-time. So I am a full-time art student, um, which is super cool. So I do a specialized course which allows me to basically study art all day, every day, except for one session, which is where I do math. So I do math for literally one hour a week, and then the rest of my time is spent being creative and doing art, which is so cool. And it was the best choice that I've ever made in my entire life. Because I had always been, ever since I was a kid, I was so art focused. Sorry, just had to do that real quick. Like I was so art focused in the way that art has always been my favorite subject. I was constantly creating. I was put in after school art classes, which was great. Whenever I thought of a career, I couldn't think of anything but doing something in the field of art. I'm 16 now and I graduate next year and I don't know exactly what I want to do but I have an idea of the direction I want to go in. I want to be in the art field. I want to be doing something creative. Whether that be photography, videography, painting, drawing, illustrating, etc. I knew that was always something that I wanted to do ever since I was practically born. Um, <laughs> anything I have done, especially when I was really young, was revolved around art. We did like a Little Miss and Mr. Men activity in English where we had to write our own story and my character was a Little Miss Artie. <laughs> so that's what I'm studying. I'm at high school still, but I'm studying art full time. I don't know if I'm gonna go to university. I think I am, but I'm still not 100% sure. I think I'm just going with the flow at the moment and seeing where it takes me. I feel a lot of pressure to have to decide and I'm trying to take that pressure off myself and I feel like what will happen will happen and what needs to be will come to me. My nose is so stuffy still like I feel great but my nose is just it's not doing it. I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. I don't do contour very often like powder contour. I don't even have like liquid or cream contour but I'm gonna just do a little bit. I'm using the he who shall not be named palette because I can't afford any other one. Is it out of date? Yep, but I'm broke, so I can't afford to buy anything else, and I'm gonna use what I've got. Someone asked, what is, what and who are my favorite bloggers, vloggers, or YouTubers? My favorite YouTuber of all time is Luna Montana. If you don't know her, check her out. She is amazing. She is literally my inspiration for everything. At one point, I did actually have a fan page for her. That is not even a joke. I love this woman with my entire heart. I have her merch. <laughs> I have been following her since 2018. I don't know. I was just... Her content is just so amazing and she's so authentic. And she genuine... You can tell that she's such a genuine person. And I appreciate that about her so much. So she is my favourite YouTuber. A lot of her content that I was watching when I was like a little bit younger was ballet content so if you're into dance she does post a bit about that she also posts like vlog content what i eat in a day get ready with me just like overall a bunch of just variety content but she's just amazing so if you haven't checked out little montana please do because she deserves all the love in the world she's my favorite person ever luna if you ever by some miracle on the planet of earth which i doubt ever see this video know that i am like your biggest fan i love you so much okay that is you can barely tell i have like a little bit of like bronzing contour i have a bronzer but it is so orange so i just use eyeshadow <sighs> i don't know what i do with my life to be honest but i found her okay so there's this other youtuber that i love she is so funny her name is kelly stamps she like does a bunch of different content as well but she's just so funny and i watch her videos all the time and they just make me laugh so much she's just so random like you open one of her videos and she'll be doing like a car wheel or something it's just i love her she's so funny okay so now i am gonna do blush which my blush is actually broken but it's the essence the blush and it's in shade 30 breathtaking Oh, my brows are so... What is that? I like looking like I have just been sunburnt and a little bit like a lobster. 
Um, yeah, if I don't look like a lobster, I don't think I've got enough blush on, to be honest. Mm, do you get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not red, there's not enough blush. I feel like I was just way too rough putting my blush on, because this eyebrow was fine. The other one, however, was not. I think that's pretty much my entire makeup. I might put, like, some lipstick or lip oil or something on my lips a little bit later, but I'm not leaving for another four hours. So that's a bit excessive. Might put a little bit of highlighter on, actually. Okay, that's that's the makeup look. Hello. Uh. Also, I have no idea what this little red dot on my nose is. I've had it for ages. Don't ask what it is, because I could not tell you. Wow. I, I think I should... Mm, is it still a little bit wet? It is... Okay, so for my hair, I'm thinking of doing, like, the spiky bun. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's like... The Y2K spiky bun, like, like that, I think. And I'm trying to get it because my hair is naturally curly and I washed it earlier because it was in desperate need of a wash. So I'm going to just use my natural waves to make it a bit whoosh. But I've got to wait for it to dry a little bit. Again, I'm not leaving for another forever. So that's not a big deal, I guess. It can wait. What are we going to do now? Like, do I just sit around and wait for another two hours until Caitlin arrives? I was going to film a YouTube video today. Mm, I'm already filming this one, but I'm going to film another one, which should be funny. It should be fun. I'm just using it to get out anger, to be honest. You'll see what it is and you'll be like, oh, okay, I guess. Um, I think it's going to be fun. Don't know if anyone's going to watch it, but it should be fun, I guess. But yeah, I think that's all for now. The plans for the rest of the day is to, I guess, I might film another video, maybe edit this. Wait until Caitlin gets here, then get dressed and go to the concert. I don't know, I'm so excited. <gasps> That's the video for now. Hope you enjoyed doing my makeup with me. It's not extravagant, but it, it was fun. And yeah, if you have any video ideas or things you would like to see from me, please let me know and I will try my best to do it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Okay, bye.